It is a sad day in Tesla land this morning as news is breaking about Zach Kirkhorn stepping down. The markets are up and rebounding this morning, and Tesla was rebounding until that news broke just about 10 minutes, 15 minutes ago. Uh, we've also got news about oil, and uh, and then we have Elon saying that he might need surgery and that Tesla's FSD has a mind of its own. This is Randy Kirk. If you like the morning news, maybe you don't like the morning news this morning, but hit like anyway, hit subscribe and hit the notify button. Later today, I'm going to have uh, Brian Wong on and this is going to be a daily show. We're going to have a daily news update every single day about LK99. It's just that important that both of us have decided that we need to report on daily updates of what's happening with this new miraculous potential product. Uh, also, uh, you know, hit go ahead and, and join up Patreon. Uh, as I've mentioned before, I've just put up a new piece on Patreon, a very long piece, 35, I forget how many pages, uh, of a book that I started but never finished called uh, called uh, Doing the Hard Things. And it's, uh, I think, a, a book that you'll find interesting, uh, but I'm not going to publish it. So I put it up on Patreon and you can go take a look at it for free right now because you get seven days free. All right. Uh, okay, there's there's no bigger news this morning for Tesla people. Uh, Zach Kirkhorn is a beloved character at uh, Tesla. Uh, he's the steady hand. He's the one we love to hear at earnings calls. Uh, he's uh, a guy who everybody uh, in the Tesla community deeply respects. And uh, it's one of those ones, one of those shocks, you know, where you're, oh my goodness, uh, uh, if Zach steps down, why? You know, why is he stepping down? Is he burned out after 13 years? Uh, did he get another offer? Uh, is he in a dispute with with uh, with uh, with the boss? I mean, you know, and maybe he and Elon are getting along. Well, probably none of those things. He's staying till the end of the year in order to help with the transition. Uh, so that would suggest uh, another one of these deals where maybe he has other plans, something new he wants to pursue, potentially his own company, potentially going to work with somebody else, uh, maybe a well-deserved rest after 13 probably harrowing years. But there's not much other information out this, this morning, including uh, Elon uh, hasn't said anything, uh, in, uh, anything about it so far. Zach himself put in a LinkedIn post. Being a part of this company is a special experience, and I'm extremely proud of the work we've done together since I joined over 13 years ago. Now, that is a pretty standard, uh, you know, kind of notice from Zach. It was kind of a standard notice from Tesla without any real fluff or uh, uh, detail that might help us to understand what's going on. So uh, the stock was down uh, last time I checked, uh, down only four and a half. That's probably, uh, you know, it's probably what you might expect, maybe a little more. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see it go down a little, a tad more this morning. So unless there's other really strong, super big time, big news on the opposite side this week, uh, that will give me an absolutely perfect excuse for Tesla not hitting 300 by next Monday. That, that, that would take that off the table completely. And I'm, I was kind of looking for an excuse. Anyway, uh, uh, sorry, I'm, this is not a humorous situation with Zach stepping down, uh, but it will in, indeed impact the stock this week. Uh, probably we will need the, the Cybertruck uh, news before we'll take the march towards 300 at this point. Um, all right, let's see. Was there? Uh, oh, I will also, when we do the Brian Wong update later today on uh, LK99, I will update at the same time about this story. Um, now, that uh, was that's now the biggest news in the morning. What was going to be the biggest news in the morning is that Elon says that FSD, uh, that they're now seeing. Uh, that maybe they've discovered the very first beginnings of AGI in the work that they're doing on FSD. And he says the car will not, it now has a mind, if even just a small mind. Well, there, there you go. Now that's a, that's a pretty big statement in terms of the direction that things are taking now that Dojo was on the job. So again, that would be something that, uh, Brian and I will talk about later today as more information comes out about that statement. 
Uh, there was a little bit of you know tweeting going on about the statement, but nothing in depth. So again, that'll be part of maybe an afternoon or maybe a late afternoon, like four o'clock show that I'll do with Brian. Uh, the market, of course, has opened up very nicely. So if you're invested in other stocks, uh, some other stocks, most of the market is doing very well this morning. Uh, so I've been talking about oil uh, for the entire seven months I've had this show. I always believe that it's a major indicator to watch. It's a leading indicator, it, if in, especially in these times where in, inflation is what everybody's talking about. So oil, um, it keeps bumping up, up against 83, it went over a little bit into the 83s, back down to 82 and change. Um, uh, what I think everybody's concerned about is a breakout higher than that. Uh, the 83 number is baked in right now. Uh, gasoline prices went up last week and, you know, they might go up a little bit more. But right now, I think that's all baked into everybody's expectations, baked into the market. Uh, but if it breaks out of this 83 cap and starts towards 90, uh, especially if it happens rapidly, that would not be a good thing. Saudi Ar Aramco is out this morning saying that they think that there's plenty of capacity and there's plenty of, of oil on the market right now that the supply and demand is in balance, uh, even given the fact that the Saudis uh, and the Russians have cut back production through the end of September. Uh, Saudi Aramco thinks that everything is, uh, you know, in balance and okay, and they, they were trying to calm markets. Now, uh, obviously, the Saudis and the Russians and the, uh, the entire Middle East uh, group they would like to see the prices go high without killing uh, business entirely. This has always been, or not always, but re more recently, they get it that they can kill the, the business cycle and therefore uh, quell demand for oil, which is not good for them. So they've got to be careful too. They've got to be uh, smart with re regard to all of this. All right. So the big news is at Kirkhorn. Uh, there's not much news in terms of the overall uh, business market, the you know economy right now. Uh, the good news is that the market itself is rebounding from last week. Uh, if you didn't see my uh, conversation with uh, with Renee of Fallacy Alarm yesterday morning, I will post it right here uh, in in terms of a card. Uh, that was a that was a very very interesting conversation we had. It is a valuable hack that you can use. I'd recommend that you go back and take a look at that. Uh, okay, let's take a look now at where the markets are on a slow news, what was a slow news morning. Well, Tesla is now down seven points at 246. There is support at the 245 level. Uh, we would, I would certainly like to see it hold at 245. Uh, rebounding today, maybe, um, maybe if there's some commentary coming out about this change, um, anyway, we'll see what happens with regard to that. But the Dow is up 247, the NASDAQ up 11. Now, there is a some evidence that, it, yeah, the, the, the Tesla is probably weighing on the NASDAQ at this point because it's a big piece of the NASDAQ even after the rebalance. Uh, so having the NASDAQ be up only 14 with the Dow up 247, uh, on, if that was happening on any other day, I would say that maybe we're seeing a little bit of a move out of the techs and in, into the Dow's. Uh, uh, the S&P is, is also not up as strongly as the Dow this morning. Um, so yeah, I think, I think the Tesla news is weighing on all of that. Uh, let's take a look at the other indicators this morning. Uh, we've got the, uh, look, look here, the crypto is right at 29. Uh, the dollar is uh, edging up uh, based on expectations for the inflation uh, information later this week. Uh, Gold, silver, and copper all down this morning. Oil down, uh, actually uh, nicely down to 82 and change as opposed to close to 83. Uh, and then bonds are up slightly, but only at 4.07 uh, on the 10-year, which is uh, actually better than it was over the weekend. Uh, the two-month is down a little bit. Uh, the two-year is down a little bit and the 10-year up just a tad. So anyway, uh, again, uh, Goldilocks, as I've been talking about, we are really in a Goldilocks environment in terms of the economy and in terms of the market, and the market is now rebounding, but this Tesla news about Zach Kirkhorn is not something anybody wanted to hear. A uh, reminder again about Brian Wong, uh, later today we'll be talking about the LK99, we'll be talking about the Zach Kirkhorn story, we will be talking about Tesla having 
uh, the FSD now having at least a small mind. <laughs> anyway, uh, please hit uh, like and subscribe and hit notify so that you'll be notified about my conversation later today. And then uh, join uh, Patreon where you get a free book. If you join at the $5 level, you get two free books. If you join at the $10 level, and now you can go up and read a third book, a short book. I, I, I can't remember how many pages right now, but it, it's, a, it's a significant amount of content that is now posted up on Patreon. That's all there is this morning on a slow news day. Well, no, the news is huge, but the amount of news is, is light. Anyway, we'll talk to you much later today, a couple of times. It has been great talking to you this morning.